So lately a lot of people have been asking me why I've been really upset and just not really myself these days. And rather than just keep repeating the same thing to everyone, I thought I'd just clear it up. Um, well, the past year, as some of you know, I've been going through a lot of bullying. Um, from mostly people at school. Well, before the holidays before school started, I did some stuff and I thought, what the heck, no one's going to find out, but I sh probably shouldn't know better. Like, in society these days everyone finds out everything, it's just how everything works. But after that, I got a name for myself at my school, got called names, people started hating me for no reason, and they don't know me, they don't know one thing about me, and they just, it's like judging a book by its cover, but instead of a cover, they're judging me by like, the blurb, whatever they hear or read about me they believe, but that's because they haven't given me a chance to show them who I really am. I mean, there's only a few people who know who I really, really am, but just, they haven't even, like, these are the people that disbelieve what they hear, they say stuff about me what they hear and then it gets all muddled up as well so it gets even worse then it's just like how do you think I feel about it? I mean knowing that people talk behind my back and call me names and they call out names across the courtyard and bump into me it's like how do you think that makes me feel like Imagine if someone was doing that to you and how you would feel. It's just... Ever since people started judging me, I've promised myself I won't judge people. I know how it feels to be judged, but in a bad way. The way you, you're not and you know you're not. I've stopped believing what people say because I know it's not true. So I say, I tell them, I'm like, you can say what you want, it doesn't hurt me. But I know inside it pretty much does, but I don't show it. Um, also, this year I've lost my best friend over a guy as well. So probably one of the worst ways to lose a friend is over a guy. Um, I thought I would always be number one to her as I was her best friend but you know people people have different points in friendships like people have different views on how friends should treat friends. I mean Well, since then, that was pretty much breaking point for me anyway. I just... I didn't know who I was anymore. Didn't know... who I could trust. Probably... Uh, I know I can't trust anyone. I, I won't trust anyone again. But before me in... My best friend became friends, well, just after it. My friends, they did not like her, but they didn't really want to get involved in being her friend. So I pretty much ditched all them to become friends with her. Probably one of the worst things I could have done, because once I lost her, I lost everyone. There's never been a time in my life where I felt so alone. And I still feel alone to this day.
it just proves how much people really care and that you really can't trust anybody except for yourself not even family sometimes they can go behind your back and say stuff what's stopping them but yeah that's one of the reasons well that whole situation that whole thing that was happening in my life at the moment at that moment with the bullying losing my best friend fighting with family I just I didn't know how to deal with it anymore I'm like what's the point of living if you can't even deal with your own life like how ashamed shameful is that you can't even deal with your life it's like do you even deserve to be living um I started cutting myself and probably did one of the worst things I could have done posted on Facebook when I was having an argument with my best friend um but cutting myself I regret it so much now like I still have scars and every time I look at them I just I think of that horrible time in my life and it's like you're meant to you're meant to be when you do it at that time it's meant to be to for the pain to go away for you to be focusing on something other than what's going on but then after you do it you have scars and you're reminded of it every single day of your life and I would have rather just to deal with it at that time rather than cut myself and be reminded every day for the rest of my life it was a horrible time I'm still going through a horrible time now but I have to deal with it I have to step up and just realise this is my life and I have to make the most of it but everything that was going on just led me up to depression I would cry myself to sleep at night I would lock myself in my room I didn't want to go to school anymore I was ashamed of who I had become I'm trying to get my life back in order but it doesn't help when people hate me still for no reason to all the people I've ever hurt ever bullied or anything I am sorry I never realised how much it could hurt someone how much it just it can cause to them it's like you, you would never realise it you see me walking down the street and like you would never just kick me out and be like, oh, she has depression. I mean, it's so not like, the person sitting next to you, the person next door to you, could be cutting themselves right now, and you'd never know unless they talk to you. Oh, you saw the cuts. To anyone that is depressed, Try and find someone to talk to if you have anyone. If you don't have anyone, you can always talk to me. I know what you're going through. My best friend, my best boyfriend, like, boy who's a friend, is probably the only reason I'm still here today. I could, I can talk to him about anything and it's like he understands he's gone through this as well a lot of teenagers have don't think you're alone but just to know that there's someone out there just that you can talk to probably one of the best feelings someone that you can trust that you can trust your life with I mean 
I can never completely trust anyone. I've done that before, it hasn't worked out. But the feeling that, like, you could if you wanted to, it's a good feeling. But yeah, there's actually one person recently who's probably just made me forget about everything. Just focus on life and that I have to just start living it. Because, I mean, I've been alive for the past year, but I haven't really lived it. Like, it's just, it's really, it's really difficult, I guess. Really difficult subject as well talk about. But just the next time you go go to judge someone, just think probably one of the just just think. Think before you say and do. But yeah, just think like someone could be going through problems at home. Might be getting bullied by other people as well. And by you bullying someone, that might push them that little bit further to do something stupid, to take their life, to cut even. Just imagine if it was someone you were really close to. How would you feel to know that they are being treated like this? You wouldn't feel, you would hate it, you'd want to kill the person that was bullying them. Just don't bully, don't hurt people. Because in the end it's like, what, what are you gaining from it? Is it making you happy? Making you feel proud of upsetting someone? I mean, some people do, but I don't get why. If you're causing so much pain to someone to make them even think about taking their own life, it's gone too far. It's really gone too far. But to all those people who've been asking me what's been on, I hope this video kind of shows you what it's about. Why I've been kind of upset. And yeah.